Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Greg Furman, market analyst here at TraderPlanet.com and these are the market positions for February the 17th, 2010. So with that said, let's get started on our first uh, trade for tomorrow. We're going to be looking at the S&P 500 futures contracts. Uh, we're going to start as we always do with the, with the uh, again, with the triple EMA crossover. It's a very good place to start. We can see that our 18-day predicted moving average comes in at 1084.87. 1077.32 and 1082.42. Now we do have the three-day crossing over the eight-day predicted eight-day exponential moving average. Now we've got a number number of indicators here suggesting that in the short term that this is going to be moving higher. But let's let's take a little deeper uh, look at this. Uh, I think it's very important that we do that. Now starting with our first crossover from vantage point, we're going to go with our short-term crossover. Now again, that's the the vantage point predicted two-day exponential moving average crossing over the five-day simple moving average giving us a directional indicator. We can see here that it did cross over to the upside uh, on about the 8th of February when the S&P has been moving somewhat higher actually. It's had a very good move today but is that really what's uh, what we want to do is is determine whether that's really what's going on here. Now I'm going to hit the medium term application here on the crossover so everybody can see this. This is again this is the four day exponential moving average from vantage point crossing over a 10 day simple moving average. Now this here we can see is also confirming a move higher in the medium term. Now what we're going to do here is go in and look at the long term crossover and we can see that the long term crossover from vantage point is not agreeing that this thing is going higher. So it's very important that we look at these multiple indicators from vantage point and not just one thing. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to hit the triple EMA crossover hit that back and now what we're going to do is look at the price patterns like what's vantage point actually been calling here on the S&P 500. Let's have a look now at price pan price points uh, and price patterns with the vantage point software. Now a point of interest here is that we can see that we had a crossover to the upside from vantage point back in the beginning of November. Now this uptrend in the triple EMA crossover lasted until the first week uh, just into the first part of the second week of January I should say where we've had this triple EMA crossover that's made across to the downside. Now we can see that the markets come back up, touch the 18 day predicted moving average. We haven't got a crossover. So the question here is, are we in a, in a correction or are we in a bull market or a bear market? Well, look at, looking at these indicators, we can see that the predicted RSI from vantage point here, which is another leading indicator, is suggesting we're already moving into overbought territory on the S&P 500 and this thing is likely to move lower. So it's, it's ex extremely important that we look at all these indicators from vantage point because the picture is never as clear as what some people will make it out to be. Now looking at the at what's happened here, looking at the predicted RSI from vantage point, we can see that it's entering into overbought territory. We're going to be looking at short positions on the S&P 500 based on these other indicators from vantage point. Now what we're going to do now is now that we've looked at these other indicators, we've looked at price patterns, we're now going to go in and look at the actual daily report and look at the predicted highs and predicted lows. So we did have a very strong move in the equities today, but the question is, is it sustainable? So we have 1083.68 is the low tomorrow and we have 1098.18 is the high. We've closed at 1093.20 so for tomorrow the neural index we expect to move higher and when it does move higher we're going to use that to enter into short positions based on the indicators here that I've presented using the vantage point software. I think it's very important that we look at more than just uh, the predicted highs and predicted lows and certainly more than just the triple EMA. Now Going back over the years, I've been using Vantage Point for probably six, seven years now. These price patterns are very important. These new indicators from Vantage Point, the predicted RSI, the predicted MACD, the predicted TSI, all very good indicators. Now, the predicted TSI has crossed over in, from oversold territory and, move, and is moving higher. Predicted MACD has crossed to the upside. But again, our short and medium term outlook is definitely stronger in the S&P 500. However, looking at the longer term price patterns and the long term crossovers along with the triple EMA crossover suggest that it, the picture may not be quite as clear as what we think. So for tomorrow, we're going to stick with the overall bigger picture here and use any strength higher in the S&P 500 to set those short positions. So again, for tomorrow, we're going to be looking at about that 
1098 to 1100 mark to set our short positions and we're going to be looking for a move back down towards that 1085 1083 area so we're looking for a pretty big move tomorrow now that's our first position for our second position we're going to revisit the soybean oil contracts the futures contracts that I we were trading last week that's the first position I put out on that I suggested that the soybean oil futures were going to move higher based on the triple EMA crossover and a no number of other indicators from vantage point uh, this trade I like obviously much better because we're actually trading with the trend we're trading with the crossover to the upside so it's probably not going to be as volatile we can see here that we've closed at 3995 we have the predicted three day at 3840 which is our first level of support we have 3796 and 3771 as our second and third level of supports so that's what I like to call them now looking at this triple EMA this is a very fresh crossover from vantage point the trip triple EMA is a very good trend reversal indicator we can see that that's made that crossover in this particular case on this trade the predicted TSI the predicted MACD all support the long position predicted predicted RSI getting it's a little bit on the overbought side but I think we're still okay so now that we've done that we've looked at the, those areas we're gonna go in and have a look at see if our if our three main crossovers support our buy position now I'm gonna hit the short on this one I'm gonna hit the short-term crossover we can see that the short-term crossover here is has come back touched the main uh, touched the five-day simple moving average the the predicted two-day exponential moving average is bounced off it back to the upside that's clearly supports our buy position going into our medium term outlook I'm gonna hit apply so everybody can see this we clearly have a buy signal that's taken place from vantage point on the medium term crossover back uh, actually at the end of January the beginning of February so everything looks good there then we're going to go and hit the long-term crossover just just for the sake of making sure everything looks good we can see that that's good too last week of January we, the long-term crossover took place so now then the final indicator of course the triple MA we look at that before and we look at it, at it after to make sure that it also supports the other three crossovers so everything looks good there so we're going to go ahead and now enter into uh, our daily report from vantage point again always important to bring all of these indicators together not just look at one thing uh, I know a lot of my videos I do tend to focus very heavily on the triple EMA uh, but we're gonna be getting into a little bit more detail in the months ahead just to make sure everybody has a good understanding so we can see here that we've had a night good strong close on the soybean oil futures 3895 predicted low for tomorrow is 3815 predicted high 3919 so 3815 is our low now going back to our triple EMA crossover just to coincide with that we have 3840 which is a potential area that we would want to get into this buy position I think the predicted low at 3815 is very good that it covers the daily range however for tomorrow we're going to be looking at that 3840 as a point as an area of interest to us so in short we're going to be looking at long positions on soybean oil futures anywhere between 3840 and 3815 that's a very narrow range to get into our buy. that's a what I'm gonna call a buy zone here uh, again I like to use multiple indicators to get to you know to come up with these levels to make sure you know we limit the risk to reward so in this particular case with this trade all stops must be below 3771 having stops uh, too tight here not a good idea because what can happen is you just get knocked out in the intraday volatility so again we're gonna have our stops below this 3771 very important that we do that now that's our second position for tonight and again uh, we're looking at mostly futures trading for tomorrow for tonight and tomorrow's uh, positions we're looking at again the S&P 500 and we're looking at soil be soybean oil futures contracts uh, we're looking at buy positions on both and uh, both look pretty good so those are the market positions for February the 17th 2010 and again my name is Greg Furman market analyst here at TraderPlanet.com